Hello technophiles, how are you? We hope you all are fine and staying at home in this pandemic. So what are you doing in this lockdown? We have to do something productive which will be useful after the lockdown. It is said that to develop an idea we have to first go through some innovative ideas. We are sharing our project ideas with you and hope you will see the further video with all the attention. So chaliye shuru karte hai. Let me start by introducing our team members. We are four members, Kevin, Akash, Zai and Omkar. We are studying in MIT Polytechnic Pune. We have developed an effective system, smart automated cart, which can transfer any kind of materials from one place to another automatically with the high level of security. Sounds good, isn't it? So are you aware of automation? Automation is the technology by which a process or procedure is performed with minimal human assistance. RPA that is robotic process automation in that bot completes task faster so employees can perform higher value work. Before building this project we did a market survey and according to that there is need in the industrial area to transfer materials from one place to another. This transferring process should be done in less time, in an efficient manner and also with the reliability. There are several manufacturing companies where the production of the materials is done at a very large scale. They need workers in a huge amount to achieve their daily target or goals. To fulfill this requirement, we are introducing our proposed system, Smart Automated Cart. Before developing the system, we have gone through literature survey. These are the three papers we have referred for literature survey to get more knowledge about technologies we are using. First is Obstacle Avoidance Robot. Source is IJSETR, published on 2nd February 2016. It was made to avoid obstacles whereas our system not only avoids obstacle but also transfers material from one place to another. Second is smart shopping trolley using RFID. Sources is IJPAM and is published on 1st June 2018. It uses RFID tag to scan products or shopping items. We have used RFID tag to secure our system and make it reliable. Third is robotic sensors and control system. Source is Springer Journal and is published on 9th of September 2019. This paper helped us to gain information about sensors. This article turns out to be very helpful for us as we have used some sensors in our system according to the article. After this literature survey, we have used ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacle during transfer as well as used RFID tag to provide security. We have also used the GPS and GSM module to make our system more efficient. We have also added the notification functionality in our system which will send the message and receiver when cart will reach the destination and also if cart is stuck and there is no way to move forward. Let's take a look at system architecture. Arduino Mega is the heart of our system. It is centralized unit which is connected to other components. Components like Bluetooth, Relay, Motor, SD card module, ultrasonic sensor, buzzer, RFID tag, LCD screen and battery indicator are connected to Arduino Mega. We have programmed Arduino in such a way that it carries out all the functions smoothly and gives an accurate output. It processes all the data provided from the different sensor and depending on that it gives the output. Take a look at the components which we have used for building this system. Let's go for the hardware first. Arduino Mega is the main controller. It gives instructions to other components. Encoder motor is used to get the values from the motor to count the number of rotations. In normal motor, we can't count any values. Relay is used 
same as motor driver to give power supply to motor and instruction as per our need. Ultrasonic sensors are used to detect obstacles. RFID tag is used to add or access the material from system. It keeps our system reliable. Servo motor is used to open the door through RFID tag. Bluetooth is used for connectivity. SD card module is used to store the path. GPS and GSM is used to get the current location and send it through GSM. Now let's take a look at software part of the system. Arduino programming is done in IDLE. MIT App Inventor is used to develop the application. Let's take a look at implementation with algorithmic strategies. Download the application and then add details of every user that is ID, name, mobile number and RFID tag number. Connect the application with cart via Bluetooth. Drive the cart manually to store the path. You need to give path name and drive manually to store the path. When all the details of employee and all path will be stored, then the system is all set for actual use. Sender will load the material in the cart and select the receiver whom he want to send the material. Then the cart will go to the respective receiver's destination. Receiver will collect the material from the cart by unlocking the cart using RFID tag. Now let's take a look at actual working with example. Let's consider scenario at the bank or the office. There are two persons employee and his boss. If the boss wants to send some confidential files to his employee. So for the system initially you have to drive the cart throughout the office or the bank so that all the paths will be stored in the system. That means from employee 1 to employee 2 and the employee 2 to employee 3 like that. In such a way all paths will be added in our system and it will create a network of paths in the system. After setting up the system to use, the user will decide whom he want to send in the application and he will select his name, ID and mobile number. After giving all the user information, he will just click on send button. The cart will be sent to the receiver's destination with the material. As we were talking about boss and the employee, let's say a boss has put some file or the confidential material inside our cart. The door of the cart will be opened only for 10 seconds after showing RFID tag. So after putting the files inside the door, the door will be closed in 10 seconds and system will get the data of the boss. Now boss will select the corresponding employee via the application. He will add the details of that employee and click on send button. After clicking on send button, the cart will start moving and will reach to its destination. If any obstacle comes in between the cart, the cart will try to eliminate it by moving left or right. If there is no way to come out, the system will make a sound of beep and the notification will be sent to the sender and the receiver that the obstacle is stuck in between. After sent material reaches the destination, a notification will be sent to the sender and the receiver that the cart is reached to its destination. So receiver that is our employee needs to show his RFID tag to open the cart for receiving the material. In such a way system will deliver the material from one place to another automatically with the security and efficiency. Here's our actual result of the smart automated cart. Initially the worker of the office and the employee need to download the application. Worker means peon, office boy or any other person working in the office or the bank. We will give by default username and password for the worker. After logging to the system, worker will add user details like name, mobile number, RFID tag number, etc. User details will be saved. After adding details successfully, worker will give path name. For example, name 1 to name 4, then file will be created. Drive manually as per the requirement. Path will be stored automatically.
if user want to send some confidential file then he or she will download the application then click on user user means employee manager etc user has to create account by adding details like username and password after logging user have to add sender and receiver details like sender name receiver name receiver mobile number receiver rfid tag number and the path name after adding details system will go to its destination while going to its destination if any obstacle is detected it will stop and make a beep to check from left and right side whether the path is free or not it will continue its path from the free path or if it is continuously detecting for the next 30 seconds it will stop and make a beep and it will send the message to sender and receiver that your card is stuck please remove from it else it will continue its path if any user request for material while task is going on the request will be pending after the completion of the task cart will check the pending request and it will also check that sender has given access or not if sender has not given access so the cart will decline the request after reaching the to the destination it will send message to the sender that task is completed the receiver has to show rfid tag to the cart and remove the material and the message will be sent to the sender that the receiver has removed the material successfully our system has wide variety of applications it can be used from schools to government offices let's take a look at some of the applications in shopping malls there is consistent need of transfer of materials from one place to another there are lot of workers working to maintain the uniformity of the work and to bring overall coordination so our system will be useful in the mall in this pandemic there is lack of workers which is creating problems for the mall owners to open the mall to overcome this problem use of our system will be the best solution in hospitals a lot of ward boys and nurses went to their native place or villages so that the hospital is facing problems day by day and the lack of hospital working staff people fear to do work in hospital in this corona virus crisis our system could also help in this situation our system can transfer the things from one place to another which is generally done by the ward boys and this system will help in supplying the fast medication to the patient in the government and private offices especially in government offices misuse of files is seen in india generally people say government work takes a lot of time as files not getting transfer from one place to another by peons quickly to avoid the corruption and upgrade the work of government of india in terms of reliability our system is very useful also in schools or colleges it can be used to transfer the books or any educational material from one place to another system can also be used in hotels to serve the customers we are also looking forward to make our system applicable in some way for indian army as we want to serve the soldiers as they are standing for us let's take a look at advantages our primary goal for building the system is to save time and efforts of the human there is no need of the operator to operate the system when worker will store all the parts the system will set up to use in that place automatically unauthorized access is eliminated totally we have provided rfid tags to all the users so the lock will be opened only by the authorized users rfid tag as it is based on rpa that is robotic process automate it is fast and efficient all you have to do is buy it once and then recharge it from time to time this will save your money we have used 12 volt 7.6 ampere battery which gives the system consistent supply of power more than 10 hours in the single charge we have also provided charging input to system so that you can charge it just like a cell phone due to all these features our system is more reliable 
as coins have two sides there are also some disadvantages to our system system needs bluetooth connectivity as the connection between the system and the user is built up through the bluetooth another disadvantage of the system is it is able to work on the single floor that means if sender is on the second floor and if he chooses the receiver on the fourth floor then it will be not possible for system to go upwards we are working on it to find the solution and will update in the next version in most offices there is elevator so we will establish the connection via wi-fi to the elevator and provide command and it will reach the upper and lower floors alternatively we will add eight wheels and a band on the wheels so that the system would be able to go through the steps so the conclusion of our project is our proposed system is able to transfer any kind of material from one place to another in an efficient manner due to our proposed system the process of transferring material will become fast and reliable problems like human errors lack of discipline laziness unreliable work unauthorized access during the transfer are solved by our system we are thinking to add some more features in future to make our system more efficient we will add gas sensor to our system so that it will detect the presence of gas it will be beneficial if the area in which system is working is caught up by the fire due to gas sensor the manager will get the notification that there is gas in that area might be because of the fire we will attach robotic hand to our system so it will perform more functions like human also to enhance the security we are trying to add qr code functionality to our system user will unlock the cart by scanning qr code thank you if you like our project idea then do like comment and share this video thanks for watching